Hello my friends, this is a special Astro Extra edition to go through the total solar eclipse we have coming up on March 8th, 2016. And I'm bringing it up because we are upon a very powerful weekend here when I release this video, really taking our first steps toward what this solar eclipse will knock out of the park. So really, we're taking the preliminary steps that God Universe is going to wholly bless with this solar eclipse is a very powerful total solar eclipse in Pisces, which is eye sense and spirituality. So let's take a look at the overhead projector and see what this day looks like, shall we? Now, uh, if you don't know, basically an eclipse comes from the fact that the sun is eclipsed by the moon crossing in front of it, if you don't know, uh, and that's what we call an eclipse. So the sun gets eclipsed. It will be a total eclipse. It will be eclipsed in parts of the earth. Uh, here in California, I calculated it to happen at 5.55 p.m. Spooky. <laughs> and it happens at actually step 18. So this is a step 18, which adds to a 9 eclipse. What this means is uh, this is an eclipse that will basically fortify, double, quadruple, put in tons of cause behind whatever you love and decide you're going to do, nine. So basically, this is a total blessing from spirit for you to go, uh, basically, go after what you love and decide you need to do, all right? And this is love and decide in the context of Pisces, which means this is love and decide in the context of our most compassionate self, love and decide in the context of having let it all go in the early degrees, uh, and love and decide, really, step 18 is, a, is the point where you have the best view to know what the future may be and have already experienced a lot before you, this first 17 steps. So the step 18 is the time you're like, okay, I think this is it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that sort of thing. Uh, and, it's a big, and it's a big deal. Now, here's what's crazy. This step 18 directly opposes Jupiter retrograde at step 18, Virgo. Directly opposes it. Jupiter's at step 19, the beginning of the transit of Sun and Pisces, but retrogrades back to 18 for this awesome event. So what this is, is a crazy vortex encoding, in my opinion, Whatever you decide here, vortexes down into the retrograde of Jupiter, which means our shirt's inside out right now as we decide uh, what we're going to do and what we're going to look like. And as soon as Jupiter goes direct, we're going to put our shirt back on and we're going to be wearing something different with a different saying. <laughs> okay? And that's all based on what we're doing here. So this is a very, very powerful blessing from the universe. And this is an endorsement, period. It, there is no right or wrong, remember, with the universe. There's only right or wrong for your heart. What's right or wrong for your heart? Right or wrong for your heart is you're not listening to what your heart is telling you, the one, and you're not committing to it. Secondly, you're not deciding and committing to your heart. Or you're acting on things that are not these two. So that's how you could screw it up by not listening to your heart, by not committing to your heart, or by not acting on behalf of your heart, but acting out in different ways. Now, speaking of acting out, joining us in the Step 18 party is Uranus. Uranus is also at Step 18 on this day, the Grandmaster Step of Aries. And what this means, because this is happening at 18, and because Uranus is in the, in the ruler of 18, 9, the 9s, right? Because Uranus is there basically sticking its fingers <laughs> into Aries' ego, we're basically encoding our egos at the very same time. Wonk, wonk. We are encoding our egos at the very same time. So we're saying to our reality, this is our reality, and we're saying, and this is going to be our ego. All right? Um, what else? At this time, at this moment, Saturn will be at step 16, Sagittarius. This means that we will be decisive at this point. Decisive is Saturn. So where is Saturn? Saturn is decisive about what we love and what flows easiest. Six. Or what is fair. And this turns out to be a spiritual quest. Or you're being decisive about your spiritual quest and trying to figure out what flows and what you love. Sometimes people know the seven and they don't know what 16 makes of it. Sometimes they know the 16, they don't know how it adds to the seven. People don't operate and that's how I'm trying to help them wake up to the steps. But the point is, is this is the new me religion. This is your new belief. So people are being very decisive about what they believe. Now, speaking of decisive, Pluto at this moment, Pluto, which is the absolute 
go to hell boundary where God's like, no, it stops here. The buck stops here. Pluto, which is actually conjuncting white Lilith there, that's interesting, uh, is at step 17, which means the absolute boundary is what you love and what God tells you or what you sense, the seven. So the absolute line is what you love and what you sense, and you should be eight decisive about that, and all decisions should be based around what you love and what you sense. All of them. All, all, all. Okay? Now, lastly, Venus and Mercury, which is just beautiful here. Look at this. Venus is at step 25, Aquarius. Aquarius is the vibrational frequencies that we want to open up to. So on this moment, we are opening up to what feels right and what our mind thinks. Okay, what feels right, the two, and what our mind thinks. Now the issue here is the mind, obviously. If your mind is off being a smart ass, thinking about stupid things, then you will not open up to the right formula okay, because the mind will not be in concert with one's feelings. One must have themselves in concert with their feelings, and I always train my students to think for those feelings, therefore the five is already aligned, and when it aligns, boom, you find yourself in the Holy Spirit of seven. So we must be open to what our feelings need, basically, with Venus. Now, Mercury is at step six, Pisces. Step six is basically the ruler of Venus, so basically, Mercury is being pointed back to Venus <laughs> at this moment. So isn't that interesting and coded? So what you see here is that the universe all builds this orchestra of step numbers and does a powerful blast of energy. Wah! And it basically encodes. Encodes means everything gets set in motion. A big cause goes out. A big cause wave goes out at this frequency at this. And basically, whatever you're vibrating at that moment is what you get blasted into the encode, what you get blasted into the matrix. And you can undo it, yes, but people are 20 steps ahead down that path. Um, the last thing is Mars. Look at Mars. Mars is shown up. That's our ego. And what is it here? To love what we believe. That's it. Step one, I love. Sagittarius, I believe. Mars is at step one, Sag. Time to love what we believe. After weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of enforcing boundaries, Mars says, it's go time. Believe it. Do it. Go. So this is like a total male cheerleader <laughs> doing backflips, a male cheerleader doing backflips, helping us uh, for this moment. And that's basically the signature of this whole thing. Now, there was one other thing that came to mind and I don't remember what it is. So I think I'll just leave it at this. I think it's the step 21 energy. Just that the north node is at step 21 on this day. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I'll say it in a second. Step 21, though, um, means that uh, where do we focus in all this, the north node? We focus on what feels right and what we love. Step 21, what feels right and what we love. So if you get nothing from this video, focus on what feels right and what you love on this day. The thing I was going to tell you to kind of wrap up this little video is we will have in two weeks a lunar eclipse in Aries. A lunar eclipse in Aries. And a lunar eclipse is kind of like a punch in the arm. You can almost think of it as a, uh, as a, a big ball crane coming in and <laughs> knocking into a building. Everyone takes a hit during a lunar eclipse. It sets up uh, issues for souls. Any babies that are in mother's wombs right now will be encoded with a solar eclipse in Pisces and a lunar eclipse in Aries. That will be their encode if they're born here in the next month, you know, right after this. So the point is, is this wrecking ball, which will come in two weeks, is coming to knock down the old ego. Now we're all choosing a new spiritual path, and I'm saying everyone's old ego will be knocked down by a lunar eclipse two weeks later. So choose choose correctly, my friend. Stand in the new ego, the new spiritual one, the strong one, and let this solar eclipse help you build it. It's literally an ego building solar eclipse. Step 18 adds to a nine. That's ego. So this is, we're all getting a spiritual alternate ego that we can stand in before the wrecking ball or those on that ego, on the old egos, that wrecking ball hits, some will fall, some will keep standing. We'll see. We'll see how Trump does, who only operates from ego. This will be the first real hit I think he has as a candidate. So uh, thank you so much for watching this special video. Tell your friends and family. That's the best thing you can do in, uh, in gratitude is just to you know, share with the people you think they would enjoy it. And I'll see you next time when there's a big solar eclipse event. Until then, remember I love you and live love be. So